It is an absolutely beautiful spring day here at Washington Square Park. The trees are green, the sky is blue, and I am hungry for lunch. I'm getting food from one of the most famous New York City street carts called New York Dozas, headed by the legendary Dosa Man. As the name implies, Dosas are the main offering. Dosas are basically like crepes, and they've originated from South India. They can be stuffed with a variety of things, but New York Dosas is all vegan. For years, the cart has been a fixture of Washington Square Park, and it is extremely popular, which in turn creates long lines and wait times, so I better get myself over there. Since 2001, Thiru Kumar, better known as the Dosa Man, has been serving dosas from a street cart tucked in a corner of Washington Square Park. Over the years, he has received praise and acclaim for his food the world over, making his all-vegan establishment a destination-worthy restaurant. New York Dosa's is open Monday through Saturday, but only 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. before all the food is sold out. However, it's best to check the Dosa Man's Twitter before planning a visit, as occasionally the cart is absent from its typical hours. I did just that before I arrived. So I'm on the Dosa Man's Twitter page. When I scroll down, I see the latest tweet. It says he's open today. When I scroll down just a little bit more, there's another tweet with about the same amount of time that's passed, and it says he's closed. I'm confused. Thankfully, when I got to the park, New York Dosa's was open for business. I just got in line. It's about 11.30. Let's see how long it takes. This is my current book to help pass the time. Thiru Kumar is a one-man show who makes his doses to order. As a result, wait times can be long, but in a half hour, I reached the front of the line and relayed my order. The menu consists of a few different doses along with a couple of appetizers. It took maybe three to four minutes for my order to be prepared. And look at that, my dosa. Anasmosa, looks beautiful. I got the establishment's most popular offering, the special Pondicherry Dosa filled with fresh vegetables and potatoes. On the side was a cup of sambar, which is a lentil soup containing vegetables. There was also a coconut chutney. In addition, I purchased an appetizer, a samosa filled with peas and veggies. So this is a big plate of food. I'm very happy about that. First bite. Mm, that is really nice. I mean, the dosa itself, the sort of like crepe-like portion, really, really flavorful. Has a nice, uh, a nice little crunch to it, though, but it's still soft and like a blanket, holding all these wonderful vegetables and potatoes in. It's really good. Mm. So on the side is a coconut chutney. I'm gonna dip my dosa in there, get a little of that flavor. That's good. Love the coconut flavor that really adds to the dosa. It's very, very good. While the chutney imparted a pleasant flavor, it's not completely necessary as the dosa itself, which is made of rice and lentils, pairs beautifully with its fillings. The veggies were fresh, the potatoes provided a good body and an additional textural element, plus the whole thing was just cooked perfectly. Really loving the potatoes in here. There's so much flavor to them. Plus the fluffy texture they provide, oh, so good. It should also be noted that when ordering, one can request how spicy their dosa should be. So I got my dosa at the medium spice level. It's not too spicy, there's a bit of spice, it's pleasant, but I think next time I'd go for the full spicy level. So on the side here we have a lentil soup, I believe. Hey, it's mm. Really good flavor. A little spice to it too. That is nice. So on the side, I got one of the appetizers, which is a samosa, only three bucks. Mmm, that is really good as well. Wow. That is awesome. It has a super flavorful potato and vegetable filled filling. The texture on the samosa is wonderful. It's wrapped in a beautiful, flaky, wonderful shell. This is so good. A popular off-the-menu item is the samosa dosa, where samosa takes the place of the typical dosa fillings. After having both separately, I would imagine that it would be pretty good considering one gets a crispy textural component from the samosa shell. 
you know, this is not the most structurally sound dish. I kind of wish I had a fork. I am so glad I came when I did. This line is now three times the size of when it was when I came. The time right now is about 10 to 1. The more of the story, if you want to eat here, get here early. I felt so good sitting in the shade at Washington Square Park on a perfect spring day, eating one of the best doses in the city while everyone waiting in line looked on in envy. Now, I can't say that I've had a lot of doses in my life, but hands down, this is the best I've ever had. That lived up to the hype. Oh, that was so good. Plus, I spent only 13 bucks, and I've got a full stomach. There are not many places in Manhattan where you can get food of that quality and of that quantity for that kind of price. And it was vegan. I feel like I got some good karma points for that. I also really appreciate the fact that it's the Dosa Man himself that's cooking everything, that's running the whole show. With such a successful establishment, he could have easily passed the reins to somebody else, sat at home, and just taken the profits. The fact is, you hardly see star chefs with the names on their restaurants actually cooking in their establishments. You go to Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips, Gordon Ramsay is not cooking your fish and chips. So it was not only awesome to have food that good, it was just amazing that the legendary Dosa Man himself cooked it for me. That really just added to the whole experience of it. In summation, the lines are there for a reason. New York Dosa's is an incredible, iconic establishment of New York City. It is worth going to, and I'm so glad I finally got to eat there.